Uh, a guy will hold uh, a picture of. I saw oh, some. Certain... Yeah, oh. I saw someone do it for the Queen, where uh, he had, he had a picture of the Queen up on his phone, and then he ejaculated onto his phone. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, R.I.P. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. to our homeland, England, um, the Queen. That's great. Um, come, come, photos. Tributes. Tributes. Yes. What? Do, what would you? What's your? What's your come tribute? What would I make a come yeah. tribute to? Yeah. Uh, Amelia Earhart. I think she's a great explorer, and I would give her a come tribute. I, I feel like you would actually. What really? Like you're gonna? You're saying that as like a like I like um historical female figures, but really, I think your come tribute would be like to my boys, dude. Yeah, <laughs> all my boys. I love my boys. My dog Derek, dude. You've been there since day one. <laughs> okay, my come tribute. Mm -hmm. Huh. Honestly, maybe. Maybe just because I'm rewatching the season, yeah. but um, Tony Soprano, oh, big come, oh, big dude, come tribute, for sure. Good yeah, tribute. he's daddy, man. Right, he is fully daddy. Why is every woman attracted to him? Because I'm so sexually attracted to him, and it's really so so many women are. It's bizarre, and it's really the character of Tony Soprano because he's like, I think because he shows that you see this like. Um, sensitive side of him in his therapist's office yeah. but he's also like a man that can yeah, take charge know. yeah yeah he's pretty fucking insane he's like in a sociopath yeah, yeah yeah there's just like he's just so unapologetically like <laughs> hairy <laughs> and disgusting <laughs> and like sleazy yeah in a way that's sexy <laughs> i don't know he's like an old roman king emperor just... but you have some attractions you just can't explain that's really true well some people have just this like kinetic sexual energy about them that they like um we talked about this before of just because sexiness i think at least for men is not allocated to the way you look all the time it's such a vibe you know it's, it's like why big vibe. dick energy yeah. is a thing especially for women yes like especially for women like my in college um uh, my yoga teacher was hideous, like truly a vile looking man. But there was just something about him. Like I had so many sex dreams about him. I was like mortified that it was happening, but I had to finally accept that I was like sexually attracted to him. And it was just something about, again, unexplainable. And then he invited me to do Reiki on me. And I said, yes. What's that? <laughs> You don't know Reiki? Liam no. moved here like a year okay. ago. Okay. Yeah, He's from Boston. Yeah, they don't do definitely. Reiki in Boston. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, know. you haven't lived in Los Angeles long enough to know. <laughs> this but... is what it is. What is this? What is this? It's, it's, just, it's healed the, your cancer. It's the art really? of non touch. Yeah. So it's like energy transfer. So practitioners will like infuse energy, positive energy into you without. Touching you, in some cases, touching you. In my case, with the guy touching me. Is this sexual? He physically touched you, though. A little bit. But did you feel like any healing benefits from this? Absolutely. Have you done it before or since? I've done it one other time. Did you yeah. feel like the second time didn't hit as hard because I'm pretty sure it wasn't because you didn't want to fuck the. I didn't want to fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're like I don't want to fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wave your hands around yeah. me. Yeah. Pervert, get the fuck away from me. But yeah, there's it's just it's just a vibe. It, and if someone has also just like that sexual confidence, like I'm immediately attracted oh, to Oh yeah, cuz it has nothing to do really with like the way that people look. There is just this like energy that like you have. And cuz well men women are so much more cerebral yeah. than men. Like, you know, we're just like so much more it's all in the head. That's why like I think even like Coming for a man is a physical sensation. Like if you touch my dick long enough in this way, I will come. For a woman, having an orgasm is pure mental. Like it's purely yeah, mental. Absolutely. You know, that's like, I, I feel like, because you can convince yourself. That's why, have you ever had an orgasm from like barely being touched? Uh, no. I have, uh, I've had, uh, <laughs> I'm like, yes, you had. Um, I <laughs> I feel like I've had, like, if I make out with somebody really hot and then it's just, like, a lot of foreplay and then they're, like, like, uh, I'm, like, ah. Oh, no. That's how I come. I've never really? experienced ah! that. <laughs> Yeah, like a woman fall. I fall on it. I can't yeah. get up. That's how I come. I'm, like, ah! No, I feel like I need a lot to come. Really? Oh, hell yeah. Like, uh. Like, but I know myself and I, like, educate 
<laughs> men when they get with me. I'm like vibrator, clit. <laughs> This is the position. Powerful tools. Let's fucking go. That's yeah, a, I like power tools. <laughs> nice. It's very good that you educate them. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think the older you get, the more you realize that like men can't read your mind. And when you're younger, you really hope that they can. You hope that they're intuitive enough to like, because mm -hmm. you associate that with like be, them being romantic and yeah. understanding you. But really like, it, it's so far-fetched that anybody could even just guess what you want and need. And that goes like emotionally, mentally, but sexually, like, you got to kind of be like, hey, like I'm into this. I'm like, it's cool if you do this, you know? Or like, I tend to have a good time if I'm like uh, writing you like this or like if I'm on my back with this, but like- I got to think I'm not going to be able to ever breathe again for this to work. <laughs> you got to scare the shit out of me. Yeah. Have you ever choked a woman? Mm, yes wow but like not nothing crazy every time there's a lot of women that that's their thing i'm and not talking really, about I mean, your you know homer simpson to bart choking yeah, okay yeah. I'm, like a nice uh casual thing a casual choke yeah. you don't like it fuck no i feel like most women lie about that too that's interesting i think that most women don't like to get choked I, yeah. I, I would say that because so many men try to choke me to the point where I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, I thought everyone liked this. I'm like, no, everyone <laughs> lies. <laughs> everyone lies. And back to what you were saying, it's like educating men. Like, I didn't know what I liked when I was younger because, like, when you're younger, you just think you like see it. You're like supposed to hook up with a guy and you don't even think about yourself. You're like, nothing about the sexual experience is about me. I just need to make him come. Like, that's how you are when you're young. You can't like, you advocate. No fucking idea. Nice. Yeah, you can't really advocate for yourself when you're young because you don't think that. I mean, we have so many associations of like, if you enjoy sex, like you're a whore. So you shouldn't enjoy it, but you should do it for a man in order to like uh, procure love from him, you know? But then like you realize like, oh, I do like this. And then also like, this is the way I like it. I don't yeah, like it like I just this. didn't like when I didn't know for so long, like that just like penetration for me was like not the way for me to come. Like but I was like, oh, okay. That's like every woman. Yeah, it's like every woman. It's yeah. Like, I don't know how <laughs> Liam's, <laughs> Liam's eyebrows. Don't, like <laughs> all men should know that like clitoral stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> um is like the most important thing ever yeah dude that is like yeah because instead they think that they should just be hitting the back of your cervix just like socking it yeah. with like the head of their dick and you're like no it doesn't it's like not as effective like if i don't know don't you feel like the man when you make a woman come yeah you like are like fuck yeah dude. yeah i did it, it feels it's it's a nice especially when uh like you get up i'm, I'm a big uh smoke spliff after guy but if smoke a split after mm. sex yeah yeah i'll wow. i'll have a i'll have a spliff ready to rock wow and then uh you're so like uh it's like a 1970s daddy-o vibe yeah yeah just like you know, <laughs> have a spliff yeah and then she <laughs> yeah play, like tap a blue bongo no yeah <laughs> it is it is nice when like you're like going to go smoke a spliff and they're like i'm just not they're not moving and you're like hey that was probably pretty good all right <laughs> but when they pop up after and you're like hey so it's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're immediately putting on their jeans. You're like, oh, what? okay, fuck. All right. Mm, it's was... hard to make a woman come, though. It's one of the hardest things. Is... Yeah. It's hard. It's crazy, though. I don't, I don't think men know how much women fake it. Like, do you fake it sometimes? No. I mean, I, have I? Yeah, in the past. 100 fucking percent. In the past. If anyone, if any woman says she has not faked an orgasm, she's a liar. Goddamn liar. Bold face like, liar. Bold face <laughs> liar. I mean, the shows that women put on are insane. But guys, to be fair, don't really care if you yeah. come or not. Unless, yeah. like, Thank I mean, you. I mean, honestly, like, the, <laughs> it's not, if it's a one night stand or. Yeah, they don't care. No. It, Dude, if you're a pocket pussy with sentience, like yeah. it doesn't like you literally yeah. are. Did I come? Can I go play Xbox? I want to play Rocket League. This is like there's a few things on my mind yeah. already that, and none of them are. Did she finish? <laughs> did yeah. she have a pleasurable experience? But if I had a girlfriend that was faking orgasms, I'd be uh, furious, More mortified with mortified, myself, yeah. and be like, "Stop doing." Well, that. I think faking an orgasm is like gaslighting somebody, like because then you're just like, "Yeah, that feels." good but it doesn't like so if i'm actually gonna date somebody i would never no, fake it dating someone's different never. of course not but like if it's a one night stand and you never you're never gonna see this person again and i want it to be over yes, for whatever reason that's like, what it I'm is i'm gonna be faking the fuck out of that you want it to be over that's like the only time i faked an orgasm and i haven't done it in a very long time even like 
even if I want it to be over, I'll just be like, because they'll, you know, really the the period at the end of the sentence is them, them coming. So like, they're not gonna be like, oh, do you, you know? Yeah. Cause like sometimes I'm like, I just like, don't want to. What wanna... else can I do to service you? Yeah, I just like <laughs> don't want to, <laughs> yeah. Like just no, Yeah, they, talking. they don't do that. But uh, faking an orgasm in order for the experience to be over, that is like, I've done that because you just are like, I just want this to stop. Or like, uh, especially like, sometimes when a guy's like going down on you for too long and you're just like, mm. and they're not that good at it. And then you're like, just like, just can I we just fuck? I really like that if I'm being honest. You don't like oral sex? Uh, it's not my favorite thing. Interesting. I have absolutely had like a guy go down on me and it was incredible. Yeah. But that is few and far between. Interesting. And I'm also okay with that. Like, I'm more like of an exploratory type of gal. What do you mean? Like I like okay, I already address I already We're talking like, Lewis power, and Clark. Right. I like tool I mean tool. <laughs> <laughs> I like toys. I like role playing. I like dressing up. Like mutual masturbation. Like I like I just don't like uh, I, like I hate fucking sixty nine. I think it's a sh- like a scam. Why is everyone against sixty nine? Uh, it's be- so hot. It is. There is nothing I'm, about I, it. I've, that's hot. I don't think I've ever sixty nine, and I don't think I will. Okay, a lot of people are on your side because a lot of people are like sixty nine is stupid. It's such a juvenile thing that like no, no, it's fo- like how am I'm focused on sucking your dick? Like how am I gonna <laughs> like I can't focus on. Orga- like what? We're but both, then you could say we're both th- half enjoying what we're doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's the old saying: it's don't half ass something, whole ass one thing. You know I feel I mean? no because the the okay. I mean, obviously this is all subjective. So I feel like personally, sixty nine. I I'm a sixty nine truther. I think it's fucking great. I quite like it, but I feel like it's. Uh, like you, I, it's almost like I'm I can't motivated. Wait for you to come to the light. <laughs> I just I cannot mo- wait for you to come to the light. When you're next time you're sixty nineing, you're gonna stop and be like, you're "What gonna, are we? Let's stop the madness!" Yeah, I'll be like, "What are we in fucking middle school? <laughs> what, what are we peasants are, in middle school? Yeah. Stop! What are my values? What am I yeah, doing yeah. right now? Wait, I'm I'm out of my element. No, I, I call Paige. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, hold on. I like I you like it. Time me while yeah, <laughs> yeah, because like balls are on my head. <laughs> yeah. I I like it because I feel like there's like this weird motivating factor of like it's almost this like balancing. It's like very Libra, but it's like it's very like I'm sucking your dick, and then it's like it, you eating my pussy feels so good that it's like circumnavigating into me like giving good oral, and I almost feel like the oral that I'm giving is like motivating you to eat my pussy really good you're looking at me like i'm a math problem right now well you said a <laughs> lot there I, I was trying to I, yeah. I mean i mean kudos to that i mean like if you can uh but i like getting my pussy eaten a lot yeah so maybe you're just like a um, i like a world what's what's the word for if you're just like really easy to please <laughs> <laughs> uh what is the word Pathetic. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the word. Sorry, I'm not a thesaurus. Well, you but I think the word I like said that like you can come just from like someone touching you. So, yeah, like, I'm an easy comer. I'm a yeah, very, you're an easy comer. But that's that's what I'm great. Talking about. What's yeah, that's great. Good for you. I like being an easy comer, but it's um, it's yeah. I it is still mental though, and I think also it has so much to do with like the relationship that yeah. you know you're in with the person. But see, here's a weird thing, and for like choking or whatever, I'm like I'll get choked. I'm kind of okay. into it. Yeah. Say, like, I'll get hit. Like, I kind of like yeah. it. Yeah. I, that's like, and, but he, the sexual violence, you know, a lot of people say sexual violence is like um, implicitly uh, not good for women. Doesn't matter if they consent to it. It's just not mm. good because it's like really, you know, and I don't know if I agree with that. I don't agree with that. Like, the thing is, is I think that, okay, yes. I think you like getting choked. You like getting smacked around. Um, <laughs> like and, a damn rag do. doll. I think what's, I think people really do have a, a variety of interests. And like, I know I have some friends that are like very authentically into like BDSM shit. So like whatever you want to do, great. I think though for women, it's just, it's so detrimental to like fake that you like something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's the bigger point is that women just, I feel like are so eager to please that they just don't like I know friends who will tell me they're, they're like I got like smacked around and I'm like sick did you like it and they're like no and I'm like, oh why yeah why did you continue I think especially this message is so accurate too for I mean all women but especially younger women because there is that thing of like oh I just yeah. want to please 
I just really yeah. want to please and I want you to like me. Like how many times like when me, yeah. we were like teenagers, did you feel like if a guy like picked you up or you went to his place and you didn't hook up with him, like you, he like does not only deserved it. Oh, you deserve to die. No, you deserve yeah. to die. Yeah, if you didn't you hook up. You went over to a guy's house and you didn't fuck him. Like, yeah, yeah, you were the devil and you were a liar. <laughs> you are a liar and you are the devil. <laughs> but I feel like that's, that was such a thing that was like burned into my head so young yeah. of just like, you know, you like, you're not chill unless you like suck this guy's dick. And it was such a... <laughs> You'd be way chiller if you did <laughs> not saying you're not yeah. chill. I'm just saying there is an avenue where you could be more chill. I just re- remember that I being that. like he it's not even like he earned it and then they would like the whole concept of blue balls of like of like dude it like, isn't even fucking true oh my god like, like it hurts they prove that that's not a thing it hurts though and you're like i don't want him to be Is in it? pain you guys know that already yeah <laughs> like they, they like prove that that's not an actual thing but like it is annoying yeah it's annoying when you don't come <laughs> either i just prefer my favorite sex is an and most people don't agree with this is relationship sex. Of course. Uh, oh, of course. Yes. Well, I don't fucking know. I mean, <laughs> you know, you hear about people in relationships where they're like, oh yeah, we don't even have sex anymore. And I'm like, why would you what? even be in a relationship? That, my favorite sex is like a year, two years into the relationship. Really? Oh, a hundred percent. Like that's like, I love that. That's when you get like, into, I mean, I've been with my boyfriend now for like two years almost. And that's like, oh, we have like the best sex now and it only gets better. Yes. And you're just like, holy shit. It yes. just keeps, it just like keeps getting hotter and hotter and better and better. I've yeah. never experienced it. I've never been in a relationship. You're young. <gasps> well, yeah. Over like three months. Well, wait, I've had like three months sex. 20, you're 23. Three. You've never had a relationship? No, no. I've had relationships, but not over a year. So, oh, okay. That's normal. Yeah. I Maybe think that's, that's the norm these days. I feel like. But I'm missing out. Not, yeah, actually, I did have a boyfriend for like two years when I was like 17, I, 18. I, I always like, it's like three years, three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually do really? like a, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll do that yeah. too. I'll do like a two year, I'll do like a two year and then like, yeah, three What's year. What's your expiration? Like, do you have a minus I had a, three the, years? My, the longest I did was three and a half, four years almost. Was that max? Yeah, that oh, was wow. the longest. But that then. I feel like it was 90 years. I did feel like that because that's such a like crucial part. part of your formative. Oh my God, like 24. Yeah. <laughs> 24 to like yeah 20 uh almost 28 yeah like that's, that's a lot that's a lot, that's a and, lot. That, and that that's like a lot Prime of time. your your b- bandwidth of who you yeah. are it's oh, yeah. yeah you guys were like one person yeah are you single or are you in a relationship i am single i'm single and i am dating Ooh. i have a my issue is so different from most people's issues i feel like i feel like most people are just struggling because like the dating scene just sucks and like whatever but my issue is that i am just not attracted to many people Mm. interesting and and i i do not find and you might be thinking Paige, it sounds like you're asexual no no you're not you're very sexual i'm very sexual and i think i used to be attracted to more people i don't know what happened but now i walk around and i see like, when I see a person that, like, I think is hot, like, I want to have sex with, I, like, note it because it happens so infrequently. Wow. Like, so infrequently. Uh, my other friends are, like, there's, like, 20 guys here and I fucking have sex with. And I'm, like, <laughs> see. I'm, like, I haven't seen a person in two years. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you look for? Is it random? It, it's, it's, okay. Physically, I don't have a lot of criteria except for, I do have criteria. Um. I love nice lips and okay, that's pretty much it on the physical. Because I feel like you have had from knowing your dating past, I feel like it's been all over the map. So yeah, you're definitely not shallow at all. Like nerds. Like I like swaggy nerds. That's like my type. Like I like someone really smart. I like someone very funny, adventurous. Um, but also a little like on the spectrum. Mm. I'm 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 pretty close to that. Also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus it, minus age. <laughs> I love adventures. Yeah. I oh man, if I could go on an adventure right now, I'd be really. Like, yeah, look at his lips yeah. too. This look, at these, look at these. Look at these lips. <laughs> Definitely on the spectrum as well. From that yeah. answer. The little Aspergers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. a little. Say no more. Yeah, a little. We're I'll, sh- I'll show you my score. I took the rads test. So. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did too. Wait, there's a test? 
Oh, oh you yeah. should take it after. Oh. It's dude, I took it as a joke. We took, all took it all as of a my joke. Exes need to take it. Oh, we all took it as a joke, and it wasn't a joke when <laughs> I found out that I was severely autistic. I was like, oh, it's like, do loud noises like bother you? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I like have to like plug my ears when a siren goes by. What I feel like you were so Social, socially capable. Social has nothing to do with there's so many different like uh Look, spectrum scales. Yes, and there's different things. Like some Worlds people, of... yeah, they have like tactile issues. Like sometimes people. Well, I'm ADHD. That's also on the spe- somewhere. On the yes, spectrum. it is. But then it doesn't necessarily have to placate Sorry, into. I hate that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'm not. You're like I'm disabled. So. <laughs> um, I, but it doesn't necessarily placate to your socialization. Uh, you know, your like. Uh, you know, being on the spectrum because it can be literally like a texture thing. Like some people like, you know, the way that clothes feel on them, they have to really wear specific fabrics or the way, like the way that this was a crazy question where it was like the texture of a food is more important than the taste of the food. Yeah, that was the first question. And I went into the test thinking, oh, this is going to be fun and silly. And then that was the first question. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, (laughs) fuck. Oh, fuck. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't understand that. Like, I'm like, the taste is more important. I I don't eat fish or eggs because of the texture. I can't. I can't. See, for me, I'm sounds really irritate me like a lot. Like even the way it's really aggravating to me like i can't i get really bothered easily by shit like that and so and i i uh i get panicked very easily okay yeah so it's like i don't know but i we and i took the score i was like i'm pretty fucking normal i'll be cool i took it like oh this is uh this is very revelatory (laughs) i'm like oh no okay fuck this is uh no i'm not i'm not asperger so are you are you like looking to date somebody? Or you just kind of oh, yeah. open. Yeah, you want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to fall in love. I want to have babies. I want to start a family. You're like ready now. I'm ready. Oh, sorry. yeah, but okay. like, no, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm ready. This this is um, one of our questions. Do do you guys believe in soulmates? Or no, soul- no, you don't. Seriously, no, 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 no. I think that's the most like anxiety inducing. Scenario. Like, <laughs> invention of all time. There's billions of people on the planet and only one is for you. I mean, that's actually insane. That's an insane thing. And anyone who's been in love multiple times, like, knows that, like, relationships. I have so much to say about this, actually. It was great. Sorry, this is not even going to be funny. I'm like, gonna no, no, it doesn't no, always no. need to be funny. Um, it should be real. Relationships are a way to grow and evolve. Like, every fucking relationship teaches you something heartbreak teaches you something like if you haven't had your heart broken then like you are not who you are yet like or who you're going to become like you learn so much about yourself in a relationship and you evolve so deeply like it they're stepping stones and then of course you get to a place where you the the idea of building a life with someone becomes valuable in your mind and not something like scary or lame and but up until that point like you just want to date and you're like no no i'm so far away from that i'm not ready like i'm not i'm not in that place so it's interesting when that switch happens because like i've had enough dating experience at this point in my life i've had many serious boy i've had many (laughs) um sexual encounters i mean i've done it all there's not like the idea of dating is no longer as exciting to me I completely identify you know with I mean? that. Like, Absolutely. It used to be super totally. exciting because it's like, oh, I get to meet all these people and like, fuck. And like, <laughs> you know, ha- make new connections, which is still exciting to connect with people. But that that feeling of like falling in love and like with someone where you're on the same page is like very exciting to me. And that's what I want. And that's why I, that's a little bit of my problem because I'm going on these dates with actually truly great men. And I'm just like, mm, I didn't have like the the feeling, the feeling the and spark. the feelings. Yeah, the spark is like and then I don't go on another day with them. Well, yeah. Why would you waste your time if you know? Like, yeah. you know, but but, you know, that that spark thing is unwritten. What are you going to say? Oh, but I will say it's might be to my detriment because I've had several boyfriends where I did not have that spark at for, first with them. Another controversial opinion, like some people are like, when you know, you know, but like. I had a boyfriend that I was convinced was my fucking soulmate. I literally wrote an email to my mom. I was like, soulmates are real. <laughs> um, I swear to God. Shut up. And I didn't even like, 
want to fuck him at first. Like he was just so compelling to me as a person and was so convincing that he could just be such a great boyfriend that I like fell so deeply in love with him like three months later. Wait, why did you, why are you emailing your mom? <laughs> That's all that he took from me. Like, <laughs> anything, everything why, you just why said. Why I'm so intelligent. Email my, my mom. Well, for, for starters, that's mostly how my mom and I communicate. Interesting. Email. Like, we don't really talk on the phone that Interesting. much. Like, we're not, like, super duper close. So, it's a lot of email. A lot of f- her forwarding articles to me that I don't read and a lot of me writing weird things like that. Parents <laughs> love to forward an article. They fucking love. They love to give you an article. They love to forward an article. I literally had to have a conversation with her when I was like, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I wake up to 25 oh, articles. <laughs> my my dad is... I don't read any of them. My dad's really bespoke about it where he literally cuts out articles of like the New York Times that like and gives me newspaper yeah, clippings. Really? My mom still does that too. Like dude. newspaper clippings, you're, like physical... You're too young for that. Do you know what newspapers are? Like, <laughs> bro. Yeah. We used to write in papers. This chokehold newspapers had on our parents. I think everything that you said about soulmates is very like uh, intelligent. And I, I agree with you. And I think it's really a semantic thing, though, too, because I would be like, okay, I think uh, as somebody who's also been in love multiple times, which is like, it's such a pleasure. Like, I feel so lucky. Yes. You know, like, don't you feel so lucky that you've had those experiences? Because it, it's and it really is this growth. Like if, if you know, I've been really lucky where I've also dated like really great men and yeah. we've like benefited same. each other and made each other better. Except a few, but yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. But I've dated some guys that really revealed myself to me, you know, as cheesy mm-hmm. as that sounds. But I'm like, wow, I didn't even know this until I was kind of like pushed to this scenario or had this ultimatum where I'm like, wow, I, I you really you start like when you're an island and you are not interacting with anyone when you are an island of a human being. It's uh, it's really that isolation. How do you really know who you are unless you are, you know, rubbing up against other people? Challenged, you know? making compromises. But, yes. Like you know figuring out what you like sexually figuring out where you don't communicate well like all yeah. of those things are essential figuring out where to... you don't communicate well yeah like figuring out what the fuck is wrong with you yeah that's usually what a relationship is where i'm like i'm fucking gravy as fuck i'm, I'm so good i'm great i'm perfect as fuck you work on your shit though and then <laughs> yeah and then i date somebody and then they're like hey like you have a tendency to do this and it's yeah. um it I'm really like, no, bums me out i'm like um <laughs> why are you trying to fight me right now? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so you want to fight me right now? Yeah. You want to fist fight me right now? Okay, cool, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think in terms of soulmates, I would say that every person, and this sounds like such a fucking Hallmark card, but it's yeah. like, I think every, all of those people were your soulmate. It's just the way that we we frame it is that Bro, we put it- flames. Whoa. Yeah, Proper yeah. Los Angeles My soul's lingo. mate. No, they're That's, called twin flames. It's, but I think that all of those people, it's like the love of your life, but you have many lives, you know? Because yeah. I think all of those people were really the love of my life, like truly. like In that moment, yeah. Oh, where everybody around, it's almost like, it feels like a fucking music video where it's like, I can just see you, like everything is a blur and it's like, you're the only thing in focus. Yeah. And, you know, there's a great, my favorite song, one of my favorite songs of all time is... um I can't like can't not can't take my eyes off you, but um, the flamingo song of yeah, I think oh, it's, only have eyes for you. I though. only have eyes for you, and one of the lines in it that is so good is I can't tell if we're in a park or a crowded avenue because I only have eyes for you. And I'm like, uh, oh damn. damn, dude, pussy wet, dude, heart, <laughs> heart throbbing, <laughs> clit throbbing. It was it was so <laughs> nice joking. until you said that. <laughs> yeah, I just because when I get genuine, I have to then be you like, have okay. to destroy it. Yeah, I have to destroy it. I have to or I'll cry. My pussy throbs. <laughs> to that song by the flamingos <laughs> my yeah. pussy throbs like the fucking baseline Fuck, that edm song's gonna be so fucking ruined for me why i'm gonna think about your throbbing puss you're welcome dude yeah. Are you ruined yeah. Ru- ouch excuse me <laughs> ouch what do you I'm think kidding, liam no, you're Take it beautiful back. and hot huh? do you have a? do you have like a soulmate uh opinion yeah. uh i think scientifically that if you took <laughs> all of the women in America, there is one that would best, I would get along with best, right? Are you talking about like genetic, like I'd have like the strongest spawn? No, 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 no. I'm just saying like uh, emotionally and socially, there's, there is someone that I think would be better than everyone else, but I don't think 
like it's the soulmate where you you should wait you're eventually going to find them i'm like no she's probably out there but it's one of those things where it's like oh maybe she's uh you know has aids i don't know i don't know what's wrong with her but like there is i I, I did not think you were gonna say i do think she i do think she exists but i am not interested in in searching for her or do i think i'm gonna find like a soulmate i think i'll find like if i could find like a top 500 girl that would if they ranked them out of every woman in America. If I could <laughs> pick a chick from Maxim's top five. No, like, I just mean, like, like from the Victoria's not, a looks, not a looks thing, but, like, yeah. who would I be most... Vibe, yeah, vibe yeah, best yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. I see what you're saying. Um, I think so, but I also, like, don't think that's But I think that there's a ton of people you can vibe well with. Like, they're truly... Oh, a, yeah, for sure. Well, that's I, the alchemy of a relationship. That's what's so crazy about an actual romantic relationship, because you can 90% be in love and get along with everyone yeah and that 10 percent margin is what makes or breaks that like that's like you're like oh you've been on dates with guys and you're like wow i'm really physically attracted or whatever it may be like yeah. i he's so smart he's so cool he has all this he's so kind but i'm like there's this thing that's missing and i just without that it's it the whole house of cards falls mm -hmm. like it's that fragile that's like the fact that even men and women convene to me is insane. Like, I can't even believe, like, a relationship to me is true alchemy. Like, I can't even believe it works. Because it's, men and women are so incompatible. <laughs> yeah, we, our brains are so fucking different. It's insane. We, like, it's crazy. We communicate, completely different. value things. We value things completely different. The way that even, like, um, you know, the way that you can get emotional about something men get emotional too obviously but it's such different things like you can be moved and everything of course but like i'll cry with something that like i know a man would never ever cry. like i'll well, okay i'll cry if i'm overwhelmed i don't think a man would ever cry because he's overwhelmed with like he has a lot going on in his brain you would cry because maybe you saw something touching in a movie yeah. okay um you would cry if you lost somebody or something you know uh, painful like that happened, you know, maybe some like heartbreak, something like that. But I don't think you would cry because you were like overwhelmed with. If I was like stressed out now. Yeah, you would. I see. I would cry if I was stressed out. Oh really? I yeah. See, men are. I can't even fathom that. That's not like a thing. I'd be like, I push it down. Like you can't. I just probably wouldn't. That's not that wouldn't be response. your yeah. response yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's just like we we do a lot of things very different. Like I with my last boyfriend, like I would have to or last last whatever anyway, one of them. Um I would have to give him like actual instructions and he would ask ask for them. He'd be like I hear what you're saying, but I need you to tell me exactly what to do because I don't I want to understand, but I don't. Like, and like, can you just give me instructions? Men need instructions. And they need, <laughs> yeah. they, like, sometimes, especially if you're dating them on the spectrum, like, they need instructions sometimes. But like, we just think yeah, so well. differently about things. And yeah. Um, do you want to do one more question? Yeah, dude. All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ask me a question. <laughs> you might be able to, you guys, you guys have a good answer on this uh leo and other rich men oh yeah who date young women mm -hmm. young models mostly mm -hmm. or young actresses thoughts right or wrong off the bat what you what would you say i don't i don't really think it's like right or wrong but i am convinced those men are some degree of miserable mm. and very sad Trust me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think really happy, healthy men do that. I don't think it's, I don't have an opinion on it. Like, as long as it's consensual, like, date your sis. Like, I don't, I really don't care as long as it's consensual. Like, I have, do not care to judge You say anyone. date your sis? I said date your sis. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, if we're being fully fucking honest, like, I don't, if like you and your sister want to, Fuck. fuck and it's consensual like you're as you're, long as you're, you're pro not, incest sure like, <laughs> wow hot again, take. again hot take con consensual and as long as you're not hurting anyone you know what i mean like i don't like it's not my life like you know what i mean like if some dude and sis <laughs> <laughs> if some dude and his want to do something you know whatever i don't it's care fine. it's uh, fine yeah but oh yeah back, back to leo i just don't think Men who are super, super 
happy and healthy and have healthy relationships with themselves are seeking out women that are like 30 years younger than them or whatever. Yeah. I think, that's that's my take on that. I think that they're usually very sad inside. I think and, that and, yeah, and I have some proof for that. Yeah, and, and up here through experience, not okay. me, but okay. whatever. Anyway, I think that that's really accurate because if you're seeking out somebody just because they're you know really younger than you, that's a power dynamic that it's you're trying to enact. And there's a vulnerability and innocence. To those women, those women aren't going to challenge you. Like, and this has nothing about me saying anything bad about younger women. It's just the how the dynamic is. It's like you run the fucking show, you're calling the shots, and like that's really nice in some ways. Like, if you have the option to, like, if you're Leo and you can just literally walk into anywhere and be like, you, you, which he does. Um, he does. Oh yeah, that's notorious. Oh, that's he, li- like he goes. Yeah. There's a oh, notorious yeah. story that he went to what the Victoria's Secret. Uh, like fashion show and literally just showed up late in like flip flops and like basketball shorts and just like walked into like the after party and then just was like Points. and brought a girl baller yeah, yeah. And- the coolest dude of all time just showing up dressed like Adam Sandler and be like <laughs> not even saying who wants to fuck knowing everyone does and just going he's like a king Honestly, dressing like Adam Sandler, we I just want to clarify that's not derogatory because I find that personally very slamming hot. Mm. <laughs> Again. I love that look. Really? Like Scumbro vibes. Oof. Scumbro. Scumbro. Never I have a it. problem. It's Scumbro an, vibes. An oh my yeah, god. Yeah, Scumbro. Yeah, I like that's it. That's pretty sweet. Um but yeah, that's my take on that. So it's like I, I because like a lot of there's a lot of relationships where there's age gaps and it works and it's all good and like no judgment and great and fuck yeah but when like an older dude only dates like 19 year olds like he he i swear to god that man is on the brink of killing himself like that's really true well he's externalizing all of his uh joy and self-worth outwardly that just seems to me very obvious and big age differences are not super rare or even a red flag on their own you know it's like sometimes people have a 20 year age difference and they have a wonderful beautiful long life together and they have a family and it's fine i think that exactly what you said of just like when there's a tendency to only only date women that are below 25 and you just keep getting older and older and they stay the same age they, you have to really examine yourself and why are you attracted to that? Is it just because of the elasticity of their skin? I doubt it. It's he doesn't because, have to examine himself. He's like Leonardo DiCaprio. It's yeah. a docile, but but sure. you want to be with somebody who's agreeable. Like younger women are agreeable. Maybe they're more impressed by your mediocrity. You know, maybe they think you're smarter than you actually are because really cognitively, your brain isn't fully developed until you're 25 years old. Just full like full facts. neurological fact so if you are a man who is in your mid 40s and you're consistently dating women in their early 20s you just cognitively have a leg up on her you are i mean your brain is more developed you know mm-hmm. smart is neither here nor there it's just like in the in exactly what you said about like the power dynamic it is a dynamic and yeah. you might want to be in that dynamic that's that's yeah. fine because sometimes yeah. it's it's Nice to be taken care of. It's nice when someone takes Hell the reins, yeah. you know? Hell yeah. And I think it's just so hard. It's almost really back to the initial point of like, it's really hard for young women to like advocate for themselves. But I don't want to throw the baby out of the bathwater and be like, you don't know what you're doing, sweetheart. No, no, like, it's you're not like that. Kid. I've dated older <laughs> men. I've dated younger men. Like, that's all good. I'm just talking about the pattern of like, Leo specifically, or like men of that status like only dating like childlike females like yeah that's not he's not happy for sure well, i think it's probably the desire to it's a lack of um intimacy you know yeah. why would you because you have to be really emotionally intimate with somebody if you want to be a, like you know you have to be kind of on the same playing field in certain ways mm-hmm. and if you're not doing that like if you're always going to be kind of above the relationship, like omnipotent almost, and be looking down on it because, yeah, you know, you're never really going to be present there. It just doesn't work mm-hmm. like that when that dynamic is put in place. What do you think? I think Leo might be one of the happiest men in America. Shut the fuck up. I know for a fact that's not true. Really? 
How? Yeah. How do you know? Okay, that for Liam. A fact? Liam, you, can I say this? You told me that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You can't you're just like, ex- you're like, don't quote me. Don't quote me on the pod. Wait, uh, I'm having like having sex like with somebody that's like that is really hot, but it kind of felt meaningless. Yeah. Made you not feel great, right? Yeah. So, I'm not saying for me. Me, I couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> but why? But also, I'm not Leo. I'm saying like Leo is like oh, I'm just gonna be a bachelor and go on a yacht and smoke cigarettes and listen to MGMT while I fuck forever, and that's. And then just make the revenant eight, nine, ten. Like he's the man. He's. I like, feel like in theory that is fucking sick. Okay, in you theory. said you, you said you know for a fact that he's unhappy. Please I mean, go on. I mean, okay. I can't. I shouldn't say the word fact because I like like sat down with him and like had a psychiatric like evaluation. Yeah. But I mean, I do live in Los Angeles and people talk and people know people and like I, through the grapevine, I've heard that he's like very sad. Hmm. And 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 yeah, I, that doesn't surprise me. And I, I mean, feel I like I can't go like do moi on like this moment, yeah, and, like yeah. give you guys yeah. like, whatever. But it, you know, I think that a lot of, <sighs> but it, again, in theory, that's sick. Like, yeah, that sounds like every dude's fantasy. But like, I swear to God, that shit does get old, and it doesn't fix the void. Mm. There's a void there. All those, y- and you're. Young and knowing bitches. You're filling the damn void. No, you are because it's that's the thing. I think men, maybe I don't well, want like, to that gender. That's definitely it. fun for a while. Yes. Yeah. Like I think, like you know, run it up until like you're forty, and then like you gotta call it at some point. But it's like that. Like, okay. Life yeah, I'm in on that. Joy. It's as like, fun. I might want to start gardening and like you know playing backgammon and like getting eight hours of sleep a night. Yeah. Like at some point, I swear to God that becomes more attractive it's as you. fun i know you don't believe me as what you said before of like yeah it's fun to get banged out a bunch and you're like <laughs> oh yeah you know it's like dating a lot of people and it's like fun to do that but then there's a point where you're like yeah i'm like kind of ready to just like be in love with someone awesome and have a great time and like with them yeah you know and and that just feels so much more valuable over time. I don't know. And he does have girlfriends. Like, he's not, like, just bebopping around. I mean, Homeboy does have girlfriends. Like, he holds down a girl for, like, several years. He holds a bitch down. He holds a, a bitch while. down. Um, but, so, I, yeah, that's my opinion on that. I think that I don't want to gender it too much, but I think men look for exterior means in order to fill that void, make them happy. Mm-hmm. And women are so much more, like, interpersonal like i have to find myself i have to like do this and it all comes within and i think you know men can be like well i'd be happy if i was just made millions of dollars yeah you know and it's like no that actually won't if you're miserable and then you just got really rich that wouldn't make you more happy it just wouldn't make you more happy people i know are the saddest people i know i mean like i i actually think it's crazy that we still like yes obviously money is sick being rich is tight but it, there's like a point you get to where it's like, okay, your needs are taken care of. You can fucking go on vacation. You can go out to dinner every night. You can buy whatever, like a lot of things. Great. Absolutely money is tight. But like when you have like an exponential amount of wealth, that absolutely does not make you happier. I have spent a lot of time with rich people and like a lot of them are happy. But they're they're – happiness is never tethered to how much they're making i mean of course yeah when your needs are and taken I'm care of you can't be rich and happy that's not what i'm saying at all i'm just saying that like money doesn't like you can achieve all your goals like there's a a podcast i was listening to i think it was like with moby i don't remember it was with moby um and he was talking about how the peak of his career when he was making the most money at the peak of his career he's like in this hotel room it was like before he was about to get like a some kind of massive award and like beyonce's in the room next to him and like someone else famous uber famous is in the other room and he was like i have never been more suicidal than i was in that moment like like it, i think that this is he, moby that made like the song porcelain and stuff yeah, sorry man this is like is moby like does Gen Z know about Moby? I, no, they don't I, know about... I, um, I, I know about Moby, but okay. for everyone He's else. the dude that made Porcelain. Anyway. Fucking great song. Whatever. <laughs> just, just... I'm just using that point to illustrate that, like, you can have... You can be on top of the world and still be really sad. And a lot of times, it goes hand in hand, especially with fame. It's like... It's an isolating thing. You have less people around you who are honest with you. 
you don't trust people as much, people have ulterior motives, and you also come to find out that it's like, okay, this it this is a, this was amazing, but now it's not all it's cracked up to be. And like there's a lot of pitfalls with having extreme power, money, and fame. Although it's like it, yeah, anyway. it's like the curse of the lottery. It's just that sort of thing. But just to the point of how money can't make you happy, which is like such an age old thing. I mean, people don't but say it things nuance. All- like money yeah. can make you happy. Like if you guys both wanted to like give me money right now, I would walk out of here really fucking happy. Well, it's almost like, like to the also that's open. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the like, point you made, me, give me your wallet. You like I card. will be stoked. But to, you see yeah. when I'm I, there's nuance to it. Like it's like over a certain amount like it's yeah not, it's not gonna change anything it's not gonna life. change anything it's like yes when the people say like money doesn't buy happiness it's like look if you're actually struggling financially to the point money where it's does in, buy happiness yes now. where you're yeah, yeah, yeah. stressing out because you can't pay rent of course that is based on you need money that's going to like buoy your spirits duh and yeah. like help you out but the difference between uh i don't know half a million dollars and then, like, I don't know, ten million dollars. I mean, I guess. No, no, yeah, no. That's big, <laughs> I didn't. okay. I'm, I'm just saying that, like, money makes things easier. It, it's just not gonna like if you already have like internal like things you need to work through, like self esteem issues, blah, blah blah blah. Like that can't be fixed through like having a fuck ton of money. It just can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that is true, but and I think it, th- it doesn't necessarily give you purpose. Like if you have purpose, like I think that brings a lot of meaning to life. Passion, if you have passion. But also, I've I've changed my views on that lately. What do you mean? So, I sometimes I think that this like concept that you have to fu- like is was like an invention, like that everyone has a singular passion or focus or yeah. I don't I think singular. Yeah. yeah, and I think that, like a soulmate, it's an anxiety-inducing thing that some kinds can hinder people from actually finding their. I, I I think you should call it your path, like just what works and clicks for you naturally, in terms of like what you do for money, right? And like I think a lot of people beat themselves up because they're like, I don't know what I want to do. Like I don't have that passion, and you feel inherently bad about yourself because of that. But it's like, no, 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 no. You're fine. Sometimes you just got to do a bunch of shit and like something clicks and sometimes you don't even know what that is. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, th- this whole idea that we all were like, born to do one thing, I think it's insane sometimes. Yeah. So. Th- that's just such a reductionist way to look at it yeah. when like we have so many means. Um, but I think that to the money point, it's the same thing as like the dating point or even just like fucking somebody hot, fucking a bunch of hot bitches is not gonna make you happy i mean like obviously when you're I mean, like in the does. height of an it orgasm it will a little bit it, will it gets little, old it would it just i'm saying it's not sustainable yeah, yeah. not sustainable happiness but it, like, if you fuck a bunch of hot if i fucked a bunch yeah. of hot bitches today i'd be like i'm the shit but it's like doing way. like drugs it's like doing drugs yeah. like you're gonna like feel Which are tight. yeah they're great drugs but if you awesome. but they're not sustainable <laughs> yes exactly yeah. also True. like i'm so on this like dopamine control kick thing Neither of yours are both like. Cool. Well, no, I. But it's funny that you bring that up with your ADHD because uh, ADHD is a um, it's a brain. T- I know a lot about this because my boyfriend is ADHD, mm-hmm. and it's um, you basically it's it inhibits and disables your uh, dopamine. So like you're usually there's an imbalance of dopamine happening when you have like ADHD. So some people what they try to do is like they cut off anything that can um ex- like fuck up your dopamine. If you have like ADHD, we're like okay, I won't like dudes. I'm like okay, I won't like masturbate and i won't I like, like do with, like a quick reward yeah that's adhd that shit. that's yeah. total adhd shit so so what were what you gonna say about dopamine in your relationship to it oh oh i'm just like i'm trying to like my morning routine i try to like curb um getting high levels of dopamine like first thing in the morning so like i don't like touch my phone first thing in the morning Because, like, if I start scrolling, like, that already – there's some science here that I'm not going to be good at explaining. But, like, when you have a low dopamine morning, like, I wait to have my – I wait to have all the things that give me fucking joy. I wait, like, one to two hours, and I just feel like it makes me happier, weirdly enough. In the beginning, I'm not happy, but over time, like – throughout the day i don't know why it's like, a muscle right, that you're yeah. yeah. that like i appreciate things more i find more joy in things 
it, it almost like trains my brain how to like be throughout the day. Mm. I don't smoke weed till like 8 p.m. And that is so much better. Yeah. At, after 8 p.m. Yeah. You need yeah. to do stuff like that. But with the dope, it's the way that these like platforms like Instagram and TikTok are built, especially with Instagram because it's more social media as opposed to entertainment, is that it's actually it's dopamine seeking behavior to like scroll. So your brain is like searching for the thing that's going to give you that rush, that something. And when you don't find you can find it, but you start to like really wear that part of your brain down where then you just kind of keep having to like heighten and heighten yeah. and heighten. The and same that's with dating apps too. Like I listen to this podcast i sorry i like listen to this podcast about how like dating apps are not designed and this might be obvious to you guys but like aren't designed for people necessarily to meet each other they're designed for you to stay on there right like they're the same people who engineer other apps like instagram where they're invested on and you staying on yeah interfacing and, with the app as much as exactly possible the same yeah dating apps like they like think about it like they don't want everyone to just like meet someone and go off like they're designed so that you don't necessarily have enough information to actually make a genuine it's like all designed to like just keep you you just like it's a validation thing it's more of like oh like i said hi i match like whatever whatever but then like it never amounts to anything maybe real i mean in some cases obviously it does but like for the most part it's like a dopamine cycle you're like a hamster in a wheel yeah i think that's so accurate about dating apps especially that feels so much because but like, like oh someone a likes through me. a dating app so like i don't i am also i'm not like anti-dating apps i'm just like yeah people meet like their fucking husbands and wives on there and shit mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. cool good know. for them Can so happy uh yeah i don't i don't really use them like I have them, but if I'm like in the new city, yeah, I'll like go on it because yeah, I don't know yeah, anyone yeah. there. If I'm traveling, but like when in LA, no, I, I used to, but then it came too much. Like yeah. dating, like all the time, is too much shit for me. Okay, such a it's so much an energy. It's like, fucking exhaust. I'm like, oh, because I'll be like, oh yeah, shit. Like I want to meet up with this girl, maybe hook up, and then I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday. I have to. Oh my god, I have to go out with this girl on a Wednesday, like. <laughs> fuck like i have to like try to be entertaining and fucking charming dating for, apps can feel yeah. i mean dates in general sometimes if you are not like super into it and excited feel like the most like vampiric thing you can like ever engage in Especially, we're like <laughs> first dates are way oh, man. too exhausting <laughs> yeah. if you're doing if i was like doing serial first dates where i'd like be doing a first date like every other week and i was like dude this is fucking hard Hard. That's I'm like not doing Olympics. this anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like the actual Olympics. I quit. I retired. The Olympic. Yeah, I'm not doing level. That. I'm not doing that. Anymore. Interactions. Interactions. No. Um, I think. Do you have anything else to ask? Say. Do. No. Do you have questions for any us, Pagey? Um. <laughs> Can I call you Pagey? Yeah. <laughs> Pagey. Oh yeah. I've like loved your boots. Games. Boot. You got. Yeah, like Can them. you plug the boots? Where'd you get the boots? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, not unless they're paying me. <laughs> oh so. God! Well, pay Paige, and then she'll plug your things. Um, yeah. can you plug yourself? And what do you have coming up? Do you have oh, anything? Yeah, 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 I can plug myself. Yeah. Um, my name, my name. Well, like your handle, oh, and oh, like, do you have any projects? I'm at my friend Paige. I'm on the internet. Um, yeah. I mean, I just finished my writing my first feature, which I am. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, what is it called? Goodbye for now. Ooh, great name. Don't steal the fucking title or I will come and <laughs> blow up your house. Uh, great name, right? Yeah. That's a great name. When I, that name hit, I was like... Well, Paige is a really great actress and like you're in a lot of stuff. You do a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, yeah so look her up. Social media. Yeah, and you also are really fun. I mean, you're notoriously amazing Thanks, at the dog. internet. Like you're like an internet professional. Thanks, dog. You are. It's great. It's great. So you have you. a lot of. So you. <laughs> should link for a sketch sometime, guys. Oh my god, what? we should. That would be what? fun. We should do a sketch together because, oh like, yes. yeah, that would be really you fun. Sketches? Yeah. Oh, you should Fuck. see. Yeah, actually, yeah. well, yeah. Why are we not? Yeah, we should. We should. Yeah, I I want to start doing more like shorts and sketches and stuff like that again. I feel like I kind of we're yeah, gonna cool. show you. Yeah, some we do. The that's the that's world. all I do. Yeah. It's okay. really fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. You're amazing. Yeah, guys, thank, thank you, Paige. You. You're so thank smart. Yeah, thank you for coming. Nice to meet you. Great. I hope I um, 
shared some wisdom. No, you're you really, I, you really, like, I made it really Buddhist. No, you like really <laughs> I like, spoke real, elegantly yeah. and eloquently. Yeah. Can you tell? Um, that was so good. No, that was great. Oh, 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 oh.